Now, why are y'all coming down on me? Trying to tell me how my life is supposed to be? I know you're only trying to help me out, trying to show me what life is really about, but it's time for me to make it on my own. So why don't you fellas just leave me alone? Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, if I love a girl, who cares who you like? What's up? <laughs> Almost at it. What's up, my people? This is show biz the adult. All right, man. Look, look at you. I can find you. I see you right there. There you are. Oops. All right, man. Look. <laughs> I have uh, a lot of show business partners. Okay, asking me, show biz the adult. How did you grow your YouTube channel moderately uh, uh, large in a very short period of time, okay? Um, really, I, I didn't grow that fast right now at the moment. I'm, I think I'm like at 34, 35,000 su subscribers and I did it in a year and a half, okay? Um, how did I do that when the subject is boxing, okay? And, and many of you may be new to my channel. If you are, welcome. Uh, we talk boxing on this channel. So how did I get pretty popular within my niche so fast? I'm going to say how I did it. And I'm not going to use some crazy presentation or anything like that. I mean, I'm just going to come off the cuff because tell you, tell you the truth, I'm, I'm just a guy, right? I mean, we're all, most YouTubers are just, people with different backgrounds and then they find their niche and then they niche and then they do pretty good uh, on YouTube, right? Um, the more popular people, there was nothing really uh, crazy special about our backgrounds, at least I'm speaking for myself, not me, okay? I mean, look, look at my, I don't really have anything going on. I'm just sitting on a couch, but that's, just, that's not how I started. Um, but this is how I grew. Uh, first of all, I chose a niche of boxing that I'm passionate about. I'm extremely passionate about the sport. That's one thing that all of my show business partners and everybody who uh, subscribe to my channel and come by, that's the first thing they always say is that I'm extremely passionate. So I chose that because I figured if I do that, I don't have to go searching and reaching for content. It, it, it could just, I mean, I love the sport of boxing. I could talk about boxing all day. It's something that I don't really have to dig deep to, to find content about, right? Uh, I just do my research, but doing my research on boxing is more uh, recess than anything. You know, I love doing it. I, I, I would have done it with, I was doing it without YouTube. I was doing it before it became my job, okay? Um, but other than that, I'm a regular guy. I got a nine to five. I love my uh, career. I went to school. Uh, I got my MBA in business management. So, I mean, I, my initial thing was to, you know, get an education and do well in a career. And then I start doing this YouTube thing, really just because I love the sport. And my wifey, she uh, said that she thinks I have a great personality and I should do this. So I'm doing it. Now, the reason why it grew so fast, I think it's because I didn't look at how everyone else approached this niche. I didn't care how anyone else did it. I really didn't. I, I mean, I, I've seen other YouTubers talk about boxing. It didn't influence me any. I did it my way. And I felt to, I had to be myself, be authentic. And people still respond to authenticity. So I figured I'm going to be myself if I can be myself and my YouTube channel can grow and people can subscribe to me being me, then I don't have to work hard at being myself. I'm this all day, every day. This is no act. OK, so I decided to do things my way. I didn't let anyone else influence me. And I had my ideas when I first started. I had a green screen. I did skits when it came to boxing. I felt I am a funny guy. Why can't boxing be fun and funny? Why can't it be positive? Why must it be argumentative? And that's one of my uh, first uh, bits of advice for you guys is be yourself. Be yourself and be creative and have fun. Don't let the niche uh, uh, cramp your style. There's a lot of people who jump in my comments now that tells me, you know, why are you so happy? Why are you so goofy? Why you do things this way? 
And really, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not like everybody else. Why are you like you? And if you are like you and you think that is a, a very unique thing and it's a very great thing, then why don't you just get a camera and do it your way? But don't come over here and trying to dictate the way I do it my way. So that's what I'm telling all you guys who are inspired, aspiring to be YouTubers or uh, grow within the sport of boxing with your YouTube channel. Do it your way. Don't look at me and don't look at anyone else. Also, uh, I, I want to say this too. Choose a niche that you're knowledgeable in. Always ask yourself, what am I providing to those who are watching this video, who are watching this channel? Why watch me? I ask myself that all the time. Why watch me? And then when I think about those things, I say, well, look, man, I'm, I'm going to entertain you. At the same time, I'm going to give you a lot of stuff to think about. I'm going once you leave uh, my video, you're going to leave with something that's going to help you grow in the knowledge of boxing because that's why you're here. That's my niche. You're here from box for boxing. So I want to be as knowledgeable as possible. I'm not just going to do it just to do it. I want to understand the sport even greater. And I listen to you. A lot of you who come by this channel who uh, have your comments and say everything that you have to say, I read them and I've grown and I've gotten better. Think about when I first started. Okay, when I first started, I mean, I, I, I loved the sport and uh, I understood details. I understood the history and I had my way of thinking. But there were guys that I just wasn't exposed to. Not like that. Not personally. Guys from different countries, from different nations. And I still had my idea on who they were. But once I read the comments, I grew in knowledge. Forget my idea on who they were. I read up on who they really were. And it helped me be more knowledgeable and helped me be able to give something to my channel, give something to those who are watching my channel that makes them, you know, a little bit more enlightened about the situation. Either way, I listen to the people because this is a community. So I, that's another thing. Approach it as a community. The last thing you want to do is to have a YouTube channel for money. Because that's going to be fugazi. People are going to see right through it and it's going to be short lived. And you're going to get frustrated. I know even myself, I look at the analytic, analytics and I look at all of, all of the things saying, man, dude, this video didn't do as well as this one. This one didn't do as well as that one. And when you start making videos based on that, people can see right through it. You're, you're running a race against somebody else and people can tell. But if you ignore all that and do what your heart says, do how you feel, then you'll be consistent. It'll be more quality. It'll be regardless of how long it takes for you to grow. At least you have uh, crafted your brand. People know what you are and your brand is strong. I don't care if you got 7,000 subscribers. They know exactly who you are. Keep coming with the facts and keep coming with who you are and your opinion and keep expressing yourself. Do the best you can. But don't do it for the money. Okay. Now, speaking of the money, I do get paid by YouTube and I don't get paid as much as you think. Like I said, everything that I have, when you see me with the car and, you know, all the all the stuff that people say, oh, man, show bills are dope. That YouTube money, man, it's got you there. No, my MBA did. Don't forget, I still have a career. What I'm doing now is the passion. Yeah, I get paid and the money is coming a little bit better. And this is what you need to expect when you get up to like 35,000 subscribers. Expect a, a couple thousand a month, okay? It's not, and it's not consistent. Sometimes based on how many clicks you get and the type of advertising and where your clicks come from, you can mess around and have uh, more views this month than you did the month before but get paid less because of the type of advertisement on your videos. So don't do it for the money. You know, you can't stay consistent. You can't stay passionate. I'm telling you, you're going to fall flat if you try to do it for the money. Do it for the love. And it's going to pay out, I'm sure. I'm starting to even see now that the more I grow, the more money I make. And that's fine. And that's a dream. Also, people, if you do it the right way, people will take notice. And I'm talking about bigger people. And people will respond to you. OK, and I'm saying bigger people and they will respond to you because they see that you're getting attention and they may want to package it themselves. If if when that happens for you or when that happens to you, I, I don't jump at the first opportunity. Understand your worth and 
and, and see if those who are responding to you, if they appreciate your worth and who you are. And then you respond accordingly. OK, always know that whatever you've built on YouTube, you built on your own. When I first started, nobody cared about showbiz the adult. Now you have people who, you know, come by and they have their links to their channel and they need me. They want me to help them out, shout them out and stuff like no one shouted me out. No one shouted me out. So understand that you built this, whatever it is you're building. I don't care if you got 100 subscribers, you're building it off the sweat off your back on who you are and who you are is appreciated by someone. Don't try to be loved by everyone. That is impossible. It won't happen. Be yourself, and then you'll have a whole community that represents your personality. Now, that is my advice on becoming a YouTuber. That's how I grew as a YouTuber. Like I said, I was uh, uh, creative. I did things outside of the box because I didn't care what everyone else was doing. And I'm passionate, and I'm consistent, and I love it. So I'm going to be doing this for as long as I possibly can. Showbiz adult. Look, man, if you're just now coming by to this channel and if you hate boxing, you don't love boxing, you don't care about it, then, you know, I get it. If this just this channel and you just this, I mean, this video itself and you just want to know, you know, get some advice and hopefully uh, you drew something positive from it. But if you are a boxing fan, if you have a boxing channel, man, that's my huge advice to you. Don't look at me. Don't try to do what I do. There's a lot of uh, channels who's doing that. Who, they're trying to do what, I'm, what I do and it doesn't help. Don't do it. But when you do what you do, you're going to blow up. I'm out. Huh.